All right, so in everything we've been talking about, the fall of humanity, you know, the fall of man, and changes in the pineal gland, as you can recall when you're looking at the story of Adam and Eve and the discussion of them in the Garden of Eden and upon the fall, there's a moment where after they eat the forbidden fruit, they are now like us, meaning they are now like us as in dealing in polarity consciousness so it's important to note that the pineal gland is also symbolically represented by the pine cone so the pine cone or you know a uh, a pine cone that you see from a from a tree is a powerful symbol that represents the pineal gland so the pineal gland as we said before it's a small gland it's a pineal shaped gland now, the pine cones symbolically, they are symbolically a representation of human enlightenment. So that's why the third eye and the pineal, you have two eyes to look, but you have one eye to see. That one eye or that third eye being the pineal gland, because you are able to receive information via the pineal gland that you don't physically see. But it allows you to be able to properly see. If you ever seen the show on Apple TV titled See, then you can kind of get a glimpse of what I'm talking about. That show is about um, there's a living in a time that no one is able to physically see. Everyone has lost their ability to see with their eyes. And so you slowly but surely get more people who gain the ability to see or who are born with the ability to see. And you have the world of people that can't see who are blatantly against those who can see, even going as far to call it witchcraft and all of those things. But if you are to watch that show, then you can understand. If you can understand metaphysically between physical and spiritual, then you can get how this is a story that is, in essence, talking about the fall of man. Because everybody, even though they can't see, everything about the show is very violent, you know, is brutal, is animalistic. But at the same time, there's a very, very, very strong spiritual component amongst these people because they can't physically see. So that that TV show, See, it's a very, very deep TV show. It's a, very, it's a lot of metaphysical gems in that show. And that's just one of them. We'll talk about that show another time. But, you know, the pine cone is the evolutionary precursor to the flower. Now, you know, especially, particularly when we say flower, in terms of the chakras, in terms of your inner body, we refer it to lotus. Now, lotus is a type of flower. So the pine cone is the evolutionary precursor, meaning it comes before, okay, so it's the precursor to the flower and it has the spiral of the perfect Fibonacci sequence, which is sacred geometry. Now, mind you, as we stated before, the pineal gland is the storehouse of sacred geometry and all the makings of the universe. So the pineal is at the geometric center of our brain and it's intimately linked to our body's perception of light, right? So we've talked about this before. The pineal gland takes in light, and it's not necessarily light that you can physically see, but remember that light is also information. So different wavelengths, different frequencies of information, your pineal gland takes it in. Now, depending upon how awakened you are, right will determine how well you are able to interpret that information into your conscious decision making right so that may register as you know you may get a feeling or you may get a hunch or you know something just told me that's that sixth sense that's that information registering that you can't physically see so the pineal gland it receives as I, i've stated this before but it receives a higher percentage a blood flow than any other part of the body technically speaking and this is seen as or known as what the ancients call the seat of the soul 
because it's the epicenter of enlightenment, right? Now, the pine cone symbolism goes across many, many cultures, and we're going to talk about some of those. Now, one of the first ones that you may recall or you may know of would be the Staff of Osiris, okay, or the Staff of Osar, depending on how far back you want to go and how you want to identify these deity or these energetic forms. So the staff, when you see a staff with a pine cone, not only is it symbolic to the third eye, but it's also symbolically referencing the whole kundalini energy and the kundalini awakening. Now, you know, the kundalini is the spiritual energy in the body that's often depicted as a coiled serpent rising from the base of the spine to the third eye during enlightenment on forward to the crown. So it's not a coincidence that this particular energy is symbolically depicted as a serpent and at the same time you've been told and given the idea that the serpent represents evil it's not a coincidence of that because of course society wants to suppress anything that's going to empower you enlighten you awaken you because if you become into any one of those conscious states you're going to rebel against this system you're going to rebel against this matrix you're going to rebel against this society right so the staff of Os of Osiris, all right, representing the Kundalini. Now, an awakened Kundalini represents the merging and the alignment of the chakras, okay? And that's said to be the only way to divine wisdom, right? Bringing pure joy, pure happiness, pure love, right? That's how you actually bring on the rapture. This is how you get the return of Christ. This is all symbolically referenced and talked about is never a literal thing this is what all of your secret societies all of their hidden information all of the hidden occult knowledge is just all going back to the same concept that you are the savior that you are waiting for and it's only you that's going to be able to save you and everything that you learn in religion is to transcend to the higher self so that's what all of these so-called quote-unquote secret societies is really talking about okay so that's what that awakened kundalini represents that's what the rapture is okay that's what that is i know we 